Hi guys, my last video I showed you how to set up the Conan Exile server onto Ubuntu Linux and uh, I told you that it's basically set up as a LAN so in order to set it up as a dedicated server you have to open up your ports so this screen here is just an example of, of a router configuration um, if you want to find out your, how to get into your router or your modem you open up CMD and you type in ipconfig slash all find your, your ethernet adapter or your wireless network card and find where it says default gateway. It'll have an IP address. You put that IP address into your browser as if you were uh, trying to enter like a website like Google, but it's going to be like 192.168.2.1 or something like that. So once you uh, once you have that in there, then you have to access your router. You're going to need an admin password. It's probably going to be on the back of your router. It's different for different routers, but once this is just general idea. For me, I click on advanced tools and settings. And I see this thing called port forwarding. You're going to want to find something that says port forwarding. And make sure uh, UPnP and DLNA, if you have that on your router, is enabled. And then, so you open up uh, port forwarding. You click create a new rule. So you're going to click on select a device. For me, it's going to be my, uh, my test virtual machine. Uh, you can put in the IP address of the actual server, or you can, like for me, it's already shows that. So, but uh, then you're gonna want to do protocol both. That's seven 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 seven. You can just name this uh, Conan seven 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 UDP, and click create. Uh, you might not have like the option for both, but just make sure it's UDP. I just do it that way. Create. Next one, I'm just going to do Conan 7778. Both 7778. 7778. Then make sure it's set, set to your, your virtual machine, or you can put in the IP address. Like on Ubuntu, when I showed you IF config, you're going to put that IP address in there. Create. Oops. Okay. Two, seven, seven, one, five. And the last one is two two seven zero one six. So make sure they're all open, save it, and that's all you have to do for your router. It might be different depending on the kind of router you have or if you have like a custom router, but if you just look up the model of your router, it'll be generally the same. Thanks for watching. Bye.